Hey folks, it's JD here and today we're looking at the JJRC H31 quadcopter. This is the waterproof quadcopter. Let's just have a quick little look at it. So, main differences with this one is you've got the one light in the front as well as the two LEDs denoting the front and the back of the copter. Um, also, if I, yeah, I've put the battery in there. Okay, great. Uh, a couple of last minute adjustments. What I've done is I've screwed in the landing skids just to be on the safe side as they did feel a little bit uh, loose and uh, in a couple of little test flights I had indoors they did fall off so as you can see with the attached screws that come in one of the accessory bags I've just screwed this in okay so there we go so the last minute checks have all been completed I've checked the propellers checked the screws checked everything else uh, so what we'll do now is we'll before we turn her on let's Plug her up. This quadcopter was on charge for about 55 minutes. Um, okay, let's turn the battery around just to not pull those cables as much. Okay, there we are, it's a definite click. Okay, that's all in as well. Right then, let's turn her on. There we go. And let's bind her to the transmitter okay so here we go right then so the copter itself is extremely light therefore I don't want it to run away so I'm going to keep it quite low down okay so let's just see if we can hover her there for a second let's bring it back a little bit now there's a little bit of a breeze here today I don't know if you can see the trees in front, it's not that, you know, it's not too bad but considering this copter is as light as it is it's probably going to take a little bit to keep her up there okay so first impressions she is very light so the slightest breeze is going to impact the flight another good part of it being waterproof is today we have quite a lot of dew on the ground uh, so hopefully the waterproof aspect of this copter is going to come into play okay so let's take her out let's take her for a bit of a flight okay so there's a little bit of wind resistance on her but I'm not too worried because she seems to be responding really well despite the fact that there is a little bit of a breeze here today okay so let's let's take her up again okay so having that extra light on the front of it does mean that you can see which way she is pointing really easily so let's just bring it down a little bit I don't know how well this is coming out on the on the camera but uh, it is something that I can see from being down this low and her transmitter range is pretty far as well I mean she's responding to at least about half of the size of this football pitch and responding very very well she rectifies really well as well so that's one thing I do look for in copters is because if when you do find that with the ones that don't have a, a barometer so they don't have altitude hold some of them do drop like a stone and they don't rectify when they when they drop this one does so as you saw this one was upside down and then she turned herself back on and rectified herself pretty easily oh <laughs> this copter is very quick very very quick but also extremely fun now the wind, the little breeze has died down some so I'm just going to uh, take her around a couple more times we're going to bring her in and then I'm going to use the velcro on the bottom of her and I'm going to attach my run cam ok let's bring her down and I'm going to attach the run cam and then we're going to see if we can get some nice 720p HD video from her that's what this velcro strip is doing here don't forget there is a model of this particular quadcopter that does come with a camera uh, this isn't the one that I 
that I purchased. Um, I do have other cameras as well that will fit. You can just attach them to this three pin connector and you will find that they should work without any problem. So here's a little run cam. Let's attach it. That's suitably attached. SD card, yep, yeah. <laughs> not like the last time. Okay, let's turn her on. And then it should be click once for record until you get a flashing light. Right, there we go. So now we should be good to carry on. So let's see if this run cam makes much of a difference to the weight of it. Now, <laughs> On first value, on uh, first takeoff, I mean, uh, yes, I was going to say that it does make quite a bit of a difference. Uh, I didn't have the throttle up halfway, and it was struggling to take off a little bit. That's not a downside of this particular co copter. I mean, the run cam is light. It is built for RC, um, for remote control units, be it quadcopters, helicopters, planes, cars. But you can definitely tell she is struggling a little bit. But that's okay. I mean, I just want to get a quite, quite a few nice shots of this beautiful Bristol morning. Let's bring her around a bit. She's actually responding very, very well with the extra payload. I mean, I am quite impressed with that. Ha, ha, ha. This is a fun little copter. It isn't a workhorse copter though, so you're not going to find like um, like the JJRC H26D with the motorised gimbal. That copter is a workhorse copter, you can tell. Quite difficult to control, but it's still a workhorse. Whereas this little guy is not a workhorse. He's a fun horse. <laughs> okay. So here we go. I, I, I'm really enjoying it. I am finding it a little bit tricky to control now and again, but that's again not down to the copter. That is down to this little breeze that we've got here today. I have I have used a slight bit of trim just to ensure that uh, the mo the motors don't struggle too much, and they can use the wind to their advantage. Let's give it a bit more power. It seems to be waning a little bit, so maybe we're coming close to the end of the uh, the battery uh, power. Okay, that's full throttle. Full throttle! Come on, baby! Come on! No, down. Okay, let's go and retrieve her. Right. I really enjoy this. I enjoy every part of flying uh, these quadcopters, and this one is no different. Um, this is fun. It seems to be really sturdy in the way that, oh, hello, there we go. It seems to be really sturdy in uh, the way that it's built. I mean, you can give it a bit of a squeeze and the plastic doesn't, um, doesn't, um, doesn't crack. The plastic doesn't try and mould itself into your fingers pushing down. So all in all, I'm really quite happy. I mean, the blades... As I said uh, before, the blades are made from a durable plastic. So you will find that they do bend a lot. But this just means that when it does crash land, um, that the propellers don't break. Okay, so let's take this run cam off. And let's see if we can fry her up if she's got any more battery power. For Oh, there we go for a, a little bit extra in the air. So, we've lost that little bit of a breeze that we had. So let's see how we are doing now. Oh, no, that's it. Just fell out of the sky. <laughs> that's her, she's down. Well, that was quite fun. How long was that? Let's see. So it's 7.26 and I started at 7.11. So that's not bad at all. That's better than the rated 10 minutes that you get. Um, and this battery isn't a particularly large one either, coming in at 400 megaamp hour um, and only 3.7 volts. All in all, I'm really impressed. So, there we have it folks. That has been the JJRC H31 
the waterproof sport quadcopter so don't forget if you have enjoyed this video please do give us a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe so you have you are up to date on all of my videos um, I try to get at least one maybe two videos out a week that is the unboxing video and the subsequent flight um, also don't forget to visit our blogger page I'll put a little annotation in here uh, just to let you know exactly what the address is we have full written reviews on there uh, of most of the quadcopters that we that we have tested uh, there are a lot more coming though in the future so then folks thanks very much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always so until next time happy flying